Hey! I need to tell you guys a story. Huh? Back a while, back a while, I, I, you know, I was in this Target bathroom. And I was making shortcakes. Pooping. I was pooping. While I was in the bathroom, pooping, I was playing on my phone in silent mode. Which, by the way, is called multitasking. Okay, put it on the job apps. I, I hear this guy come in the bathroom. He comes in the bathroom, gets in the stall next to me, okay? And I see sneakers. He started pooping next to me, okay? Luckily, I was in the post poop, okay? As a supplying effects to the poop. You know, I didn't want him to know that I was in here. <laughs> you know, that awkward, you know, you guys are both pooping but not saying any words, and then it turns into like some awkward, like, Skyping poop call. No, I don't want any part of that. Not me. <laughs> so I just remained quiet. I'm gonna keep quiet. I don't want this guy to know I'm in here. I didn't want that awkwardness to happen, but in doing this, I created a new awkward moment of quietness. It was so quiet. It was so freaking quiet. So I'm sitting in the stall, and I'm thinking to myself, it's a Monday. I got nothing going on. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna break the silence. So I let out the most blood-curdling scream. I released Thor in the stall. Ah! And this guy, he like freaks the crap out. All I hear is like two hands press up against the stalls. Just Hello? Is someone in there? I'm being serious. You scared the crap right out of me. I appreciate the help, but I have anal muscles. You had, you had me worried there. I didn't know if you were dead or alive. So I hear movement. Like he's getting ready to look under the stall to see if there's somebody in there. And I know this because the guy like hits his head on the paper towel thing and he's just like And as he looks under, I pop my feet up. Okay, I didn't want this guy to know I was in there. <laughs> I can only imagine what this guy's thinking. It's like, hello? So I let this guy get relaxed, get really comf right there on a seat. And the guy starts pooping again. Starts pooping right away, right away. I hear the grunts, hear the splooshes. So I decided, why not? You know, it's a Monday. So I let out another soul ripping scream. Ah! The guy just starts screaming. All I hear after this is the guy like trying to like put on his pants, right? Like he's about to bust out of the stall and go into mine. So that's what the guy does. You know, he psh, I hear him burst out, go into the next stall. Psh, hey! But what this guy didn't know is in the spans of him jingling around his pants, it gave me enough cover to move from my stall into the stall right of his. So the guy burst into there. Psh, okay, I see what's going on. You're a tormented soul trapped within these stall walls. I am not your enemy. I want, I just want to excrete this dark matter safely and quietly. I promise you this. I will be on my way. If you give me one solid, I will present you with more solids. So he comes back into his stall. Tensions are dying down. And he started dropping depth charges again. It was almost like he uppercutted a Play-Doh can. I'm in the stall. I'm in the stall next to him, kind of like this. But not just a scream. I decided to yell, run. <sighs> this guy, okay, gets so scared that he just psh, bursts out of the stall, runs out screaming, <laughs> runs right out of the target bathroom. So I walk out of the stall, and I remember the only thing that I did was I just did a double fist to the air, right? And I just said, I don't even know why I said this, but I, it was the moment, it fit the moment. And I look over into the stall. Apparently, the guy had left his pants in the stall, which means that he somehow got so scared that he slipped his sneakers out of his pants and ran out in the target in his beefy hands. So I walk out, right, in the target, one foot soaking, and I go up to a, an employee and I'm like, I don't know what happened, but there's a pair of pants in the bathroom. Again? Again? 